So there you are. You and this hot babe each swiped right on each other and organized a first date at the local pub and are currently sitting across from each other, getting to know one another. You two are bouncing back and forth, asking first date questions, and your answers are spot on. You love the sound of your voice and you're doing great. Clearly she must be impressed. Every time she opens her mouth to let you know a little bit more about herself, you start thinking more and more of, okay, what question can I ask her next? How can, how can I leverage the next question to lead into something that I can tell about myself and tell a cool story so she'll be totally impressed by me? The night goes on without a hitch and you're so happy when you drop her off because you know there's going to be a second date. As you pull into your driveway, you get a text from her. Hey, I know you were hoping for a second date, but I'm not feeling it. I feel like you didn't listen to a word I said. You talk about yourself too much. You're feeling crushed, but there's an easy way to fix this. Maybe you found yourself in that situation more than once or twice. Luckily for you in this video, I'm gonna show you three easy tips that you can implement within a minute to make you more present in conversations and improve your charisma. The first thing you wanna do is focus in on taking in every single sound around you. So focus on whoever you're speaking to's voice but also take in the ambience of wherever you're sitting at. If you're outside, listen to them, but also take in the sound of the trees, the wind blowing. If you're on a hike, hear the river rushing. If you're in the downtown urban area, listen to the conversation while you also hear the sound of traffic. While you're doing this, you also want to focus on your breathing. Breathe very deeply and really focus on the way the breath feels as it rises through your nostrils and penetrates into your lungs and stomach. And when you exhale, feel that feeling of everything coming back out. Really, really dial in on all the sensations your body's experiencing. Lastly, wiggle your toes quite a bit in your shoes. It's a good thing the person you're talking to is not gonna see this because you might look a little weird, but it has a purpose. In wiggling your toes, you really are able to ground yourself and bring yourself back to the situation at hand. You might feel like something's wrong with you because you get so easily distracted, but something you need to remember is that our ancestors needed to be distracted. Back in the day before TikTok, YouTube, and social media, we had to hunt for our food. That being said, we were also hunted as other predators' food. So getting distracted was quite useful. You see, if I was a caveman and I was talking to a fellow caveman, and we were just completely locked into each other and not distractible, there's a good chance a saber-toothed tiger could have snuck up on us. And well, we wouldn't be our ancestors, would we? <laughs> We'd be dead. There's nothing more annoying in a conversation than when you're talking to somebody and you could see their eyes glazed over and you could tell they're not fully engaged in the conversation with you. Even though there might be something going on in their personal life, chances are you're going to read that as rude or annoying. It's not something that we like in social interactions. So we absolutely want to avoid seeming disengaged from the conversation. And in any opportunity possible, we want to exude presence in the conversation. It'll make people like you more. It'll make people listen to you more. And it'll foster better relationships for your personal and professional life. So remember, next time you're in a conversation, Wiggle your toes, focus on your breath, and really take in everything you're hearing. And I promise, those conversing with you will be more receptive to your charisma. Let me know in the comments if these tips have helped you be more present in conversations and how it's improved your life. Thank you so much for subscribing. And remember, the grind is easy with a heart and mind.